Hello everyone, my name is Viktor Neustroyev and uh, today I will conduct the webinar. Uh, by the way, the topic is the features of trading at night. So currently we have seven attendees. Please guys, tell me where are you from? Uh, can you hear me? Are you satisfied with the sound? By the way, if you have any questions, um, regarding my previous webinars or just any questions about the market, don't hesitate to ask them now. So it's okay. Okay, good. I see you hear me. So we are waiting just for a few minutes for more attendees. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, you can share your opinion about um, about Fed decision to increase uh, to increase the interest rate. So, what do you think? As for me, I was expected um, that Fed uh, would increase uh, interest rate next year four times, but it's said that uh, it would stay on similar path next year. So. Actually, yes, I'm thinking that uh, the dollar value will in, increase a little bit more, but I'm not sure, and so I can't say exactly. Uh, what else? Um, so, Fed is also expected inflation to remain below its target for another year. It means that uh, probably it will stop them to accelerate the pace of uh, rate hikes in the nearest future. Okay, we have nine attendees. Uh, guys, please tell me where are you from? Uh, there is something I want to announce today. Maybe you will be interested. Singapore, that's good. Never been to Singapore. Florida. <laughs> and never been to Florida. Okay, we will wait for a few minutes more. Um, by the way, today our topic is uh, the features of trading at night on Forex. Um, however, guys, what do you think about uh, cryptocurrency? I, it's not our topic and I just uh, can't give you any recommendations, but looks like everybody, <laughs> um, everybody is really surprised by their uh, Bitcoin activity and other currencies. So. If you have any ideas, just uh, you can share with me. Okay, S South Africa. Okay, uh, one more thing that I want to tell you. Um, actually, I'm going to visit London uh, on, in January, on uh, from tw 27th to 31st of January. So if someone wants uh, to meet up, we can do this. You can uh, find me on my, on the on Facebook. I'm also a member of Forex Board uh, Private Trading Group. So you can find me there and just. Uh, send me a message. If you want to meet, we can just uh, arrange uh, uh, meetings, maybe have a lunch together or something like this, if you're interested. Okay, we will start the webinar in a few minutes, just, just maybe in one minute, just
Okay, guys, there are 10 attendees. Let's start. So I'm going to... Okay, just once again. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining this webinar. And if you don't remember, my name is Viktor Nostroyev, and today I'm going to conduct this webinar. I'm a private trader, and uh, I've been trading financial market since 2003. But um, now I, um, uh, of course, I started with Forex, but now I specialize on uh, agricultural commodity markets because I consider them to be more transparent, but I still trade on Forex and I have a few strategies that work. So that's why I um, conduct webinars here on Forex board. Okay, there, there is a comment uh, um, regards Bitcoin. So Bonsi considers that the price will increase. Yeah, probably. Um, because I trade futures and options on commodity markets, I know that uh, CME announced that uh, they will run futures on Bitcoin. So uh, it means that more investors can use such a tool for um, to invest their money. So maybe it means that the demand of um, so uh, the demand to, of Bitcoin will increase. But actually, yeah. So CME futures starts next week, if I'm not mistaken, at 18 of December. Okay, we will see what would happen. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to turn off my camera and please read the disclaimer. This webinar um, is recorded and you can watch it later on forexboard.com. Okay, so now you see the disclaimer and I um, uh, turned off my camera. Yeah, that's right. Everything works. Okay, so today our topic is the features of trading at night. So all trading strategies on Forex can be divided into two groups, trend strategies and the strategies which work successfully when the market is flat. Trend strategies are focused on the strong price movement, while flat strategies form signals when the price bounces back inside the channel. Both flat and trend markets can be volatile. Uh, it's because of important news releases can cause a high volatility. But in practice, high volatility is characteristic of the trend market. Of course, sometimes there are exclusions, and we can use same indicators to identify whether the market is in a trend or flat, uh, but we can interpret their signals in different way. Okay, I hope you read the disclaimer, and here is the plan of this webinar. First, I will tell you some general things about night, uh, night trading. Then I will um, show you what uh, currency pairs are better and what happens with market at night. So then we will analyze what indicators to use, how to ident identify that the market is flat. Uh, then I will explain you the logic uh, that I use when I um, when I make night trading strategies. Actually, they have a very typical logic. Um, I'll, I'll tell you just the basis and your task will be to apply the filters to this basic strategy. And we will, of course, we will talk about the filters. Uh, then in the, um, in the money management uh, part, I will uh, just tell you some feature which can help you to trade in the flat market. 
then just a few advices, a few pieces of advice, how to, what, what you should know before running the strategy. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them during the webinar or um, at the end of the webinar. Okay, there is a question. So what means night trading? So what are night hours? Yeah, so uh, when I say night trading, it means that um, um, trading on non-active sessions. Um, so when, when all your appearance are sleeping. I will tell you the exact hours a little bit later. Okay, you know guys that Forex market does not cease to function even at night, although the market situation at that time of day is very different from day trading. There are not many traders who prefer working instead of sleeping. You know. Actually, me too. I also prefer to sleep instead work at night. Uh, so, um, of course, sometimes I work, uh, but I I prefer to use automatic strategies that work at night instead of looking at the monitor myself. Um, and so, because many people sleep at night, uh, this of course makes an impact on the market activity. And uh, scalpers who are attracted by short time frames and flat income dominate among the night players. At this time the Asian segment of the foreign exchange market is the main focus, while the European part of the world is drowned in sleep. So, a distinctive feature of the night forex trading is calmness and dullness, because uh, American and European markets are not open during this period. Uh, but, however, the Asian marketplace is not so predictable, and uh, of course, sensations happen here from time to time. But usually, uh, during Asian session, the largest currency fluctuations are associated with yen pairs. So in Asia, uh, forex news begins to emerge after two o'clock in the morning. So two o'clock uh, GMT plus two. And mainly these news releases influence the market volatility. Therefore, the majority of traders prefer to work before the news release. And um, so using such scalping techniques on short time frames can earn dozens of pips. Okay, guys, then you should decide whether uh, night trading is suitable for you or not. So before making the final choice in favor of night trading, you should be familiar with the all-ins and outs of such decision. A night trader should demonstrate maximum activity and concentration. If you are not ready for such stresses, it's better to give up because mental health is much more valuable than illusory earnings. Or you can trade automatically with expert advisors as I do. Or you can just uh, move to Asia and uh, work on mornings, that's okay. But if you are um, in Europe or in America, um, I think the best way for you is to code expert advisors and uh, run them to work. A relatively low volatility at night opens doors to big deals and trading on short time frames can bring a decent income even with a few points. It is also recommended to use flat trading with stable currency pairs. 
And also please note that uh, the night forex trading is a great opportunity for beginners willing to improve their skills in the foreign currency trading. So if you're a beginner, maybe you'd better start with night trading because the market is inactive there. So what currency pairs to choose? We should identify them by looking at the charts. According to my experience, the best and the most stable markets at night are Euro GBP, uh, Euro um, against uh, Swiss franc, Euro Canadian dollar, British pound Canadian dollar, British pound uh, Swiss franc, Euro USD sometimes. Uh, and sometimes I can also trade uh, American dollar against Japanese yen. Mm, of course, if there is no news on agenda. Uh, how to identify the night time? Of course, the concrete time depends on certain currency pair when this certain pair is the most stable. Uh, for this uh, pairs, uh, uh, it's from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, I just want to remind again that the time is uh, GMT plus two, GMT plus two hours. And uh, some pairs, especially majors, are the most tables only during three hours, from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, let me show you uh, a few examples. Please look at this chart. It's uh, Euro against British Pound, H1 time frame, and this is night hours from 10 uh, p.m. to 7 a.m. So you see that the market is flat. It's, uh, there is no trend and um, actually the market trades sideways. Uh, here again, it was just a little, uh, it was a small drop, but then the market traded sideways. And here again, it was just very small uh, drop, then the price increased back. Another market, it's Euro Swiss franc. Again, there is a flat here, just a small drop and then flat, and then here um, again we see flat. And the next one, Euro uh, Canadian dollar. I like this market most because um, it's um, it's more volatile and uh, there is also a night flat. So again, we see here that it was in uh, just a small hike, then the price decreased. Here we see another tra uh, another uh, flat, and then so then in this in the third rectangle, we see that it's it's just a flat and nothing more. Uh, it's British pound against Swiss franc. Again, uh, in these yellow rectangles, we see that the market is flat. It doesn't. Uh, it has no direction. It moves from side to side. And this market is um, American dollar against Japanese yen. And here, for example, in the third rectangle, we see that it was downtrend during the night hours. So, uh, for example, if we trade here on the on 8th of December, uh, the market was flat at night. Uh, here at uh, 11th of December, again, the market is flat, but um, on 12th of December, uh, the market went down during night hours. And for example, if you use uh, the same strategy, like trade inside the channel, 
then you get uh, you can get huge losses here so it's very um, it's very risky to trade uh, majors like uh, euro usd and um, uh, american dollar against japanese yen okay so let's now talk about which indicators to use to identify flat. Uh, according to statistics, the price spends 70% of the market time in flat mode. Uh, flat uh, as a period of weak price movement can be observed on any trading instrument. Uh, visually, uh, it looks just like a weak volatility, but in fundamental terms, flat means that there is almost no liquidity at the market. So uh, the indicators that we can use to identify flats, we can uh, classify them into we can classify them into uh, three standard groups. So trend indicators, uh, oscillators, and volume indicators. Trend flat indicators seem the most logical. They may have various types, parameters, graphic elements and colors, but their main task is to build the price channel with the boundaries, directions, and levels of volatility. The easiest example of the trend flat indicator is a set of moving averages. So if they run parallel, the market is flat. like here. While baselines are intertwined, the market is flat. And here it's almost flat. It's just the end of downtrend. Uh, the next example, just co conventional Bollinger Bands at the horizontal direction of the indicator reliably identify flat. Uh, with a wide range allowing uh, some to trade on a rebound from the boundaries. And here, for example, uh, the narrow channel means a strong future trend. So like uh, you see that here and here, this um, the, the channel narrowed, which means uh, the start of the new trend. What else? So the trend signal, um, the trend signal flat indicator can also be variance of parabolic SAR. So. Uh, the closer and smoother the signal points, the more reliable the condition of a flat market. Like here, they are very close to each other. It is believed that the oscillator tapping... <clears throat> it's believed that uh, oscillator type indicators show the most reliable flat in the form of movement of the signal lines in the middle of the working area of the indicator uh, between overbought and oversold levels. Uh, so the closer the line to the average level, more stable the flat will be, like you can see here. So just uh, keep in mind that uh, the oscillators only show a general tendency, trend or flat, but uh, do not say in which direction the breakthrough is expected. The drawback of the indicators is a delay during the exit from the flat. However, here we can uh, identify that the flat was ended and the market is going to decrease because uh, you see that um, stochastic 
uh, gets to overboard zone. What else? Uh, of course, after careful optimization, this uh, accelerator oscillator is a good indicator of a flat market. Uh, at weak volatility, the working histogram bars become small and uh, oh, you see here, they just fluctuate around um, the baseline. And we should also note that relative strength index, which shows the ratio of the average rising closing prices to the average falling closing prices, so this indicator also can identify that the market is in the flat mode. The task of uh, flat indicators is to show horizontal low volatile periods. And um, of course, the boundaries of any flat cope well with the functions of support and resistance lines. And uh, rebound from them sometimes makes it, makes it possible to trade in the channel. Uh, but uh, confident breakthrough uh, makes possible to enter the market at the beginning of a trend. However, during night hours, I don't recommend you to look for any breakouts. I mean, to any breakthrough. Here we can see, uh, uh, as an example of volume flat indicators, we can mention the standard on balance volume and just volumes. Here you see two areas when the market was flat. So, and you know that flat is usually characterized by low trading volumes. Uh, the correct exit from the flat market is a guarantee of a profit. Uh, so, how to trade? Uh, the trading technique is common. After receiving a signal from a flat indicator about a possible exit from the channel, the scalper can place a bunch of pending orders outside the boundaries uh, in order to catch the surge at the exit. And the medium-term trader can get ready to work by a new trend. So if we're speaking about night hours, just try to trade inside the channel and never look for breakthrough because they happen very rare. So the flat, ses uh, the flat sessions must be defined precisely. And of course, sometimes you can earn um, big money from the rebound from the channel boundaries. But of course, a breakthrough can cause a huge loss. Okay, I have already mentioned about the channel and now let me explain a typical logic uh, behind uh, night trading strategies. So uh, the strategy inside night trading strategies, which trade inside the channel, is quite easy. It draws the side channel. If price touches uh, the lower bound of the channel, it opens buy. If the price touches uh, the upper bound, it opens sell. Uh, there are stop loss and the take profit, but usually the strategy closes the position with a smaller profit. It depends on other factors, such as um, duration of the trade and uh, maybe opposite signal. Uh, for example, if we have 
long position here, but uh, the price touches the upper bound, we have to close it. And there is also a minimum profit per trade. It means that the trade won't be closed until it reaches a certain profit or the stop loss will work. Uh, there are a few filters which can be applied to such strategies. The main filter is timing. So um, usually such strategies are scalping strategies and they take the small profit. And the stop loss is five to 10 times greater. And of course, so because the strategy is based on uh, side channels, it works successfully if the market is flat. So I just want you to remind that uh, it's very important to identify a flat, a flat hours of the market. So usually it happens during night hours. That's why the best filter for the strategy is hours of trading. So ne let's now talk about filters that we can apply to such strategy to make it more profitable. So the first and the best, I think, filter we can apply to identify that the market is in flat is time filter. We should find not the only optimal hours for trading, but minutes too. Uh, for example, most of my night strategies start to trade at 10.30 p.m. or 10.45 p.m. It depends on the certain currency pair and its fundamentals. Uh, for example, banks operations in the country that currency we trade. Um, uh, we can find the optimal time with the help of optimization. This is what I usually do. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. If you just don't understand anything, I will just repeat and explain it. Uh, okay, another filter is days of week. Uh, for example, I kindly don't recommend you to trade at Friday's night. Why? Uh, because if you don't close the position um, by the end of the week, you can get a huge loss because of the gap on Monday. And uh, sometimes it's better to uh, avoid trading on Mondays. But of course it depends on current market conditions and the currency you trade. So for scalpers, it's not recommended to trade on Monday mornings. If you if you want to trade Monday mornings, you'd better use another strategy like um, uh, fill the gap, for example, because if you see that there is a um, there is a gap. Uh, it is likely to be filled and so you can use this direction to earn some money, especially if the gap is uh, very huge. Okay, so if your strategy is based on trading inside the channel when the market is flat, try to avoid trading in time of news releases. The high volatility of the market these hours can cause a series of losses. Uh, moreover, uh, news release can stimulate a new trend. So that's why I recommend trading one hour after the release. Of course, if there are no other important releases this night. So you can ask me one just uh, one hour because 
during the first hour after the release, um, market participants decide about the direction of the market. So, and we will see what uh, what happens. And usually, if there was a, a trend or, or maybe just a hike, uh, the market will be flat for some for some hours, and it's still volatile. So, this is how we can earn money uh, when the, when the market is flat and at the same time volatile. So what, what else can we do to make our strategy more profitable? Uh, we can apply oscillators like relative strength index. Uh, I have already mentioned that we can use oscillators to identify that the market is flat, but uh, we can use them in other ways. For example, when trading hours for the strategy are over, but we have an open trade with a floating loss, the best way, uh, I think, so it's according to my experience, is to close it using the signal of RSI. Uh, for example, we have a long position and we should close it as it is. Uh, we should close it when we see that the market is overbought according to our oscillators. Another possible filter is maximal trade duration. So usually, um, according to the statistics I collected, the most profitable trades uh, on uh, night trading strategies are closed within 30 minutes. Sometimes oh, we have an open trade and we can't close this trade within this time because it has a floating loss and we don't want to fix this loss. Um, we have to leave this position, but we should definitely restrict the duration of the trade to two or three hours. So never leave uh, open position for um, for the rest of the day. If you tr if this uh, position was opened um, due to your night trading strategies, because in this case you can get a um, huge loss while your um, your strategy is not uh, it's, it's not programmed for um, for such losses. Okay, so sometimes if we trade inside the channel, sometimes we close the trade with a profit when the price reaches opposite boundary of the channel. But uh, some nights the price doesn't reach the other side of the channel and in this case we close the trade with a minimal profit. And our task is to add such a parameter, minimal profit per trade, and to find uh, the optimal the optimal value of the minimal profit in pips. We can do this with the help of optimization, of course. And uh, the last thing we can apply uh, to improve our strategy is volatility filters. So the best sessions for such type of trading are high volatility markets with no certain direction. And um, these uh, sessions, we can call them widened range. Uh, and to identify uh, high volatility, we can use a ATR indicator, average to range. So, and for example, trade only in case if ATR was higher than uh, um, 0.001, like this here. So you see that um, the ATR value was higher, then it 
decreased and uh, now we see that uh, this market at these hours is uh, volatile and at the same time the market is flat and so what we do we we sell here then we close the trade here and then we buy uh, we open a long position here then we close it here then again and again and um, in volatile flat market there can be so many profitable trades um, so f up to four or five trades on the same strategy So it's very important to, um, to use this indicator and to apply the filter to the strategy because um, so high volatility, but at the same um, high volatile, but at the same time, uh, flat market gives um, so many opportunities for you, and um, so you can earn more money these nights. Okay, what else? Um, let's now talk about money management. So I believe you know what money management is and uh, which money management method to apply. Uh, but there is one thing, one feature, which can help you to improve your trading performance significantly. So it is, um, it is suitable if you use um, such a trading strategy when you trade inside the channel. Okay, there is a question. Can you repeat the parameter for the strategy? Uh, which parameter? Oh, maybe let's go back. Okay, let me just tell again about the logic. So our task is to define a uh, side channel and then to open long position when the price reaches uh, the lower boundary. And then, so close long position and open short position when it reaches uh, the upper boundary. So this is the logic. How, how to do this? Um, I just um, demonstrated a few indicators here which can help you to, ident to identify that the market is flat. And then when you, um, when you create a strategy, you can apply such filters to the strategy. So I just, uh, I repeat them again. It's time filter when you uh, have to find out the hours and the minutes when, you, when your strategy starts to trade and when it finishes its work. Then uh, you should uh, choose the days of week for this strategy. So uh, for most strategies, I don't allow them to trade on uh, Friday's night and on, on uh, Monday's mornings. Then try to avoid any news releases because they can cause uh, um, a start of the new trend. Uh, so to, uh, close the position using um, oscillators when you see that um, trading hours are over for this strategy. So and then you can use these two parameters. It's maximal trade duration uh, and I kindly recommend you to restrict the duration of the trade um, up to two or three hours um, because the most profitable trades are closed within just 30 minutes. And of course, set such a parameter as minimal profit per trade. For example, uh, if you see that um, your 
position. I mean, your uh, the price won't reach uh, uh, the opposite side of the channel. You can close this uh, position with minimal profit per trade. For example, it can be just five or four pips, five pips, up to ten pips. And I also want you to apply volatility filters. If the market is volatile and flat at the same time, it can give us so many opportunities to earn because um, during one night we can open so many trades and all of them can be profitable. Like you can see here, if you open a short position here, then long position, then, then close short position, open long position here, and then again uh, close short close long position here and open short then close short and open long here and then cl close long position here it's uh, it will be four profitable trades okay so uh, let's go back to money management uh, there is one thing that can help you to improve your trading performance significantly if you use this strategy. Uh, there is such a technique which is called averaging down or scale trading. So please look at this chart. Uh, for example, uh, here you see that this uh, horizontal channel was formed and uh, you are going to open short position here when um, the price reaches the upper bound of the channel so the price the increased and you opened no here you opened uh, order one so you opened a short position here the order was executed then you can place you can place another order with the same lot here for the same direction so it is short position again uh, at the distance of 10 pips for example well, it can be 10 pips it can be 15 pips or another another amount uh, if this order is executed too it means that you have two short positions and your break-even point will be higher so your break-even will be approximately here and so if the market then goes down according to our uh, strategy and uh, according to our channel uh, as it has happened uh, on this chart, then you get uh, two profitable trades. Of course, it's more risky because uh, then, uh, for example, here the price can um, get higher. But the probability of a breakthrough during night hours is so low and the chance that you close both trades at stop loss is very little. So uh, look again at this chart, uh, what happened? We opened short position here when I, um, at this candle. Not, not, not on this candle, but here at this candle. Uh, then the price um, again increased and then we opened another order in the, at, the, at the distance of 10 pips. Then the price went down and here we closed our second short position because the uh, the position got um, take profit and then the market went up then down again and here we close our first short position at take profit this is how it works so instead of one profitable trade we have two profitable trades here and uh, that's not so risky because uh, we closed one of the positions here 
and uh, only for their short period of time we had two open two open positions this thing can improve your performance so if you use your standard money management method keep keep, uh, keep using it so d d don't worry but uh, for example as I do I just um, use fixed slot uh, I open uh, here with one lot and then here uh, with again with one lot and here I have um, two positions with uh, so with two lots and then I close one lot here and one, another one here So, but and I'm I can't don't want you to use uh, Martingale money management system. So, don't don't use it. Just uh, remember about this scale trading. So when you open one position and then another position uh, at better price. So uh, what you should know before starting trading at night? Uh, I really had a lot of experience of trading at night. I traded manually and with expert advisors too and because of low liquidity, trading performance during night hours depends on the broker. Some brokers can widen spreads during night hours. Other will provide you with requotes and will make it difficult to open an order without slippage. That's why I want you first to check your broker and not to trust big money until you are convinced that the strategy is profitable with this certain broker. Uh, what else is recommended? You can also call an expert advisor for this strategy. I think it's the best thing because um, I really don't want you to trade during night hours because it's bad for your health. I did it myself and uh, then I just stopped uh, trading manually night hours because I I just realized that, that I'm too tired. And of course it's bad for my uh, mental health. Okay guys, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask them. Uh, by the way, I'm going to run a poll. So, uh, have you satisfied, how satisfied are you from this webinar when uh, one is bad and five is excellent? So please vote. I will line this poll just for a minute. Um, oh, okay, guys. Um, so, w what else? Um, for example, if you code an expert advisor and then uh, if you use optimization, your expert advisor's future performance is likely to be most sustainable. Okay, there is a question. Are you going to post the webinar somewhere else? Um, uh, this webinar is recorded and it will be uploaded in a few days on forexboard.com. So you can watch it there. Okay, I close the poll. Okay, guys, just uh, one more thing I want to repeat. Um, I'm planning to visit London in January from 27th to 31st of January. And if you want to meet, uh, just find me on Facebook. I'm also a member of uh, Forex Board Private Trading Group. You can um, find me there. So if you want to meet up, just tell me. Uh, uh, Dennis, I see you raise the hand. Uh, do you want to say something? 
Okay, good question. Um, yes, Bonsi, I agree that um, uh, the same strategies also work with binary trading, but we are not talking about binary trading today, and uh, it's better to apply them on forex trading. And uh, so now you ask a very good question: which graphs uh, are more preferable? Uh, for night trading, you'd better use M15 time frame. Uh, sometimes M5 also looks good. Uh, M30 is okay, but uh, I think M15 is the best, the best one. But of course, it depends on the certain currency pair. Uh, so, I think that H4 doesn't work. Okay, um, there, there is a question from Dennis. Aren't some of these strategies incorporated into the expert advisors that you get with the Forex Board tutorial on expert advisors? I, I, I don't know, I can't say exactly, but um, there was a webinar uh, about optimization, uh, which I also conducted, and I provided uh, the members with their uh, expert advisor, which, which is called Stomper. And so the logic behind the Stomper is very similar. It trades um, the side channel. And um, yes, you can apply uh, this expert advisor to the night hours and it, it will be okay. So this is what it was programmed for. But, uh, but I kindly want you to apply these filters to that strategy, to, to Stomper. Okay, I will um, I will write down uh, in the in our chat the name of this expert advisor, Stomper. Send to all. Uh, by the way, uh, it was uploaded on Facebook uh, in our Forest Board private reading group. You can download it there. Dennis, if you have any questions, you can just write them down here in the chat. Because I've noticed you raised uh, the hand again, so... Um, can you repeat the parameter for the strategy? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I can, I can repeat. So let's go back. So do, do you want me to repeat the logic or what? Or the filters that you can apply to this, uh, to this basic strategy? So I, I can do, I can repeat everything again. Okay. So the idea of night trading is to trade inside the channel. You buy when um, when the price reaches the lower bound of this of this channel, and you sell when the price reaches uh, the upper bound. Oh. Uh, and the filter, okay. Okay, uh, so filters to apply to such strategies that uh, trade inside the channel. So it, first it's time filter when you have to find out the best uh, hours and minutes of trading. Um, as I said, some of my expert advisors start trading at 10.30 or 10.45. Uh, 
so not just 10. So if you if you code an expert advisor, uh, you can optimize not only hours but minutes too. Uh, the next filter is days of week. Don't allow the strategy to trade on uh, Fridays the night or on Mondays morning. Uh, but you can also, for example, um, not allow it to trade on Wednesdays if you think that there are a lot of um, events this day. Uh, try to avoid news releases. If you see that uh, there are some important releases in the economic calendar, so just don't trade this day or 